So this keeps happening, okay? And the fact that people are afraid to discuss it, even though we know that it's a thing, the fact that people are afraid to discuss it is an issue. And we've seen that this happens, or this has happened, by way of, uh, you've seen it with some of the different sports athletes that's got it. Though, yeah, it's not happening to every single one, obviously. That's not the case. I'm not going to pretend that that is. Uh, but it has happened, and we've heard these stories happening where folks are just dying, and it's uh, it, it's, it's heart-related issues, and it's just happening, and we're like, well, people die. Well, yeah, people die, and sometimes it is tragic. Well, all-time death is tragic, but, you know, it's like one of those things that you didn't expect. But come on, anybody can put two and two together and see that it's happening a little more often than it had before. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and, and pretend to know that th every bit of this guy's Dax, uh, this, I'm just putting this out there because it influenced me to do this video. For you, some of you guys that may not know that uh, this guy, he's 37 years of age, so he's a relatively young guy, and he dies of a heart attack. This is what uh, it happened in the memo. Uh, his heavy heart and great sadness that shared that their friend and colleague, Dax Tahara, passed away suddenly of a heart attack. Okay, so they're even themselves saying that this is something that happened suddenly and uh, just happened. Okay, now again, not saying that I know this person's medical history because I don't. I'm not even going to pretend that to be the case. I'm just giving you what influenced me as I keep reading these stories about people having these heart related issues. Um, and we know that that's a thing with with uh, with uh, the uh, uh, the Modelo virus jab. We know that there is there has been cases, particularly in young people. Uh, there's certain uh, cu countries even that have banned the usage for certain uh, certain ones of the shots for younger ages people because of the uh, myocarditis, uh, pericarditis, the heart inflammation uh, that is generally associated certainly with that. They know that as a thing. Now, you get these weird people. If you go through the data, we've gone through this. I'm not going to bore you to death with some of that data because you get folks that try to spin it and say, well, it's happening even more so for people like heart inflammation issues for people that get COVID. That is not what the data reads. My issues with this here is is that it, it's talked as if it, you have to talk about it like I'm doing right now where I'm actually bringing it up but you got to talk around it people have fear of being banned for just 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 proposing the question YouTube is a little less lenient um, or a little more lenient than they have been in the past we know what's happening with Twitter and that you can talk about it. a lot of those doctors who have warned against it are now on uh, on this who recommended that hey if you got it don't do it hey, I saw that uh, Robert Malone, Dr. Robert Malone had brought this up not too long ago. It's funny um, that he I just saw a tweet from him saying that, hey, if you did get it and you are young, I would recommend holding off on like strenuous exercise for at least 30 days and, and, and yada, yada, because there's there's obviously a link there. But the fact that people are not only afraid to talk about it, but when you bring it up, people talk it as if you're crazy. It, it really goes where people are trying to legitimize the the decision that they made, right? Because nobody wants to pretend like they made the bad decision. Well, they well they've done something that let's say is detrimental to definitely their own health. I mean, come on, man! You had the entire world in some cases, the uh, governmental doctorate community sit up here pushing people to get this damn thing. In some cases, you were all but extorted. If not, no, that's exactly what would happen. You were extorted couldn't do certain things, couldn't go about your regular life if you hadn't got it. So you were you were extorted to get it in some cases. And then, you know, yeah, we know that these guys are basically the companies, be it the fathers of the world on, on up and down. They have the immunity that is granted, even though they flat out, uh, it was a story being told, right? The whole, in America's case, the whole 
emergency authorization was specifically centered around the fact that this thing would stop the trans prevent the tr uh, transmission uh, of it and come to find that wasn't even something that they actually tested um, for and we know that jo dr rochelle Walisky just flat out came and out and said it uh what was it last year in 2021 where they're like okay we know now that you know it doesn't prevent transmission so it was sold on something that it couldn't do and a lot of people got duped into doing it and I know that for some folks, they have to feel like they made the, 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 the best decision. So in doing so, it's ignore the things that are, just don't believe your lying eyes. But why on earth can we not even raise the freaking question, right? It's not to say that everybody that dies suddenly die because they got the jet. No, that's not what I'm saying. But the fact that I can't even question it or someone can't even question it without them being <laughs> berated. Can't say that. <laughs> Can't even question it. Doctors, people that got just as much of the expertise as the folk that work for the government that was shilling for this product. They can't say it. They get banned off of social media. You can't even bring it up. It's a little different now. You can say it a little more now, but still, it's, it's frowned upon by the establishment that you dare question them and, and raise the question. That's a problem. Wherever you're viewing the content, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you may be interested in my comic book company, Riververse Comics. Our first book and campaign, I Sum Number One, brought in $3.7 million with tens of thousands of satisfied customers. Visit Riververse.com to check out our store and stay up to date with the latest campaigns from one of the hottest new comic book companies. Also, my first big step towards a parallel economy was the development of my personal website, ericdjuly.com. This entirely replaced my Patreon. Now, if you enjoy this content, please consider becoming a member over at the website. We have an ever-expanding list of perks for various membership tiers, a forum, and a phone app. Some of these perks will even benefit you if you're fans of the Ripperverse. Anyway, I appreciate you so much for being a supporter and or customer. I even got a little love for my haters.